Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're going to take a quick tour of the application that we're going to be working with throughout this series. The idea of this site is that it allows users to download desktop backgrounds or wallpapers for their computers. You've more than likely seen sites like this yourself and whilst it's not the most original, it does give us a decent basis to explore some concepts in a visually interesting way. So as it stands, we have three categories, winter, summer and abstract. And then under each category, we've got a few images. Currently, we're only working with the 1080p size, but really this is just a starting point and we're going to add more stuff from here. So as you can see, this is the home page. From the home page, we pull out a couple of pictures from each category along with some random images. We can visit an individual category. So in this case, abstract, it pulls in a bunch of the images from that category and paginates through them. And then for each image, we can also view some details and really where we go from here is a matter of incremental improvement. So there's some problems with this site and these are somewhat intentional, but for example, at the moment, each of these is actually the full image rather than a thumbnail, even though it says it's a, th a thumbnail, it's just using Bootstrap's image responsive CSS to shrink the image down to fit appropriately. So we're gonna have to look into ways of solving that problem. Also importantly, we want to be able to upload new images. So we've got a way of logging in, which if you've watched the previous series, you will know how to do. And if not, I'll link to this in the show notes. And inside we're using the easy admin bundle for our administration panel under which we can see those categories. We can add new ones and so on. And also see our wallpapers. And we're gonna do some customization in here to be able to see our image, add in some appropriate image metadata, allow ourselves to add a new wallpaper and upload and so on, including a little bit of validation. And also once we have uploaded one to be able to edit it and also to delete. So that's the gist of what we're building. Once we've built this sort of minimum viable product, we're gonna expand on it and do more interesting things, but this will serve as a great base for a practical and then hopefully enjoyable project with which to continue learning Symphony 3.